Welcome to Ending the Day with God on Wednesday the 10th of August. We opened our worship this evening with Herbert Howe's Nunc Dimittis. Come Lord Jesus, you too were tired when day was done. Come Lord Jesus, meet us here. Come Lord Jesus, you kindled faith when lamps were low. Come, Lord Jesus, meet us here. Come, Lord Jesus, you opened scriptures when understanding was weak. Come, Lord Jesus, meet us here. Come, Lord Jesus, you broke the bread when night closed in. Come, Lord Jesus, meet us here. Come, Lord Jesus, you shed your light as darkness falls. Come, Lord Jesus, Meet us here. And now to our reading, which continues the theme, Sharing Resources. Isaiah chapter 58. Is not this the fast that I choose? Is it not to share your bread with the hungry and bring the homeless poor into your house? when you see the naked to cover them, and not to hide yourself from your own kin. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your healing shall spring up quickly. Your vindicator shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Thanks be to God. In the previous verses, the Lord challenges the hollowness of the people's fasting. The law of Moses prescribed fasting only on the Day of Atonement, but fasts also came to be proclaimed in times of national emergency, and following the destruction of Jerusalem became regular events. All good, but with the danger of degenerating into mere ritual, where self-righteous piety replaces true repentance and integrity of word and action. True fasting leaves us with few escape routes or excuses. We cannot rest content while hunger, homelessness and poverty remain. Charity may begin among our own kin, but it is not to end there. We find here a key principle. When our fast is from ownership, God is able to pour out his blessing on us. It is when we seek to save our lives that in the truest sense we lose them. When we trust God enough to abandon everything to him, knowing it is his anyway, he is able to fill our empty hands with all we need. Hudson Taylor, a missionary to China, tells of the time he had only a half crown left to his name and came upon a beggar. If only I had shillings and a sixpence, I would surely give him something, he thought. But somehow he felt unable to pass by, and after a severe wrestling with his lord, gave the half crown to the beggar. Returning home he felt at peace, but vulnerable. The following day he received an anonymous gift of a half-sovereign. This is not to say that we are deliberately to put God to the test, or that such immediate cause and effect is guaranteed. Rather the point is that our trust is in an utterly faithful and loving God. Lord, give us grace to trust you enough to come to you with empty hands. Amen. And now the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, support us all the day long of this troublous life, until the shadows lengthen and the evening comes, and the busy world is hushed, and the fever of life is over, and our work is done. Then, Lord, in thy mercy, grant us a safe lodging, a holy rest, and peace at the last. Amen. Peace to the land and all that grows on it. Peace to the sea and all that swims in it. Peace to the air and all that flies through it. Peace with our God who calls us to serve. Amen. Amen.